Is minoxidil doing me more harm than good? I've been using minoxidil liquid, as per the directions, for about a week. My forehead has developed tiny bumps, like chicken pox. It's not a rash exactly. It doesn't itch, and it doesn't hurt. Should I try the foam instead? Thank you for your question. You submitted your question with a single photo, and you stated your question about a concern you have uh, regarding minoxidil and whether it's doing you more harm than good. And you say that you've been using it for about a week and that you developed some bumps uh, like uh, comparable to chicken pox and you want to know whether or not it is better to use the foam. Well, I can certainly share with you how I guide my patients uh, when it comes to the uh, to use of minoxidil. Um, a little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years. I'm also the founder of Trichostem Hair Regeneration Centers, a system we developed to help people with male and female pattern hair loss, which is a non-surgical procedure using platelet-rich plasma and acellular matrix. The relevance of this is that we are often seeing patients who have used many things to treat their hair loss, including minoxidil. So to help you understand a little bit of the history of minoxidil, minoxidil was originally a drug for hypertension, and hair growth was a very fortuitous side effect with, which ultimately re resulted in the application of topical minoxidil to help hair growth. Now, interestingly, no one really fully understands the physiology or the effect exactly of what minoxidil does, but it does appear to prolong the growth cycle of thinning hairs. Reality, of course, with hair loss is there is no cure, there is management. And so in the pharmaceutical realm, minoxidil and finasteride for men are the two drugs that are commonly prescribed. And actually, minoxidil is over the counter, but finasteride is prescribed. Finasteride is a DHT blocker, or dihydrotestosterone blocker, that reduces the effect of DHT on DHT sensitive hair follicles. Now, when it comes to minoxidil, going back to your issue, the challenge is, is that it is recommended uh, on the bottle for you to apply this solution to your scalp twice a day. Now the minoxidil solution typically contains something called propylene glycol. And propylene glycol is basically a chemical to break down the skin barrier in order for the active ingredient minoxidil to get absorbed in the skin. This has been a common issue and so when patients come to me and ask me about this, I generally tell them to it's better for them to use the foam. The foam is, is propylene glycol free. In addition, it is generally well understood that the actual half-life of the drug is about 22 hours. Therefore, I recommend to my patients to use the foam only at night. Now, when it comes to hair loss management, and if I may just share a, a perspective about what I see when I see the photo, given that your hair loss is relatively advanced, I would say that there also is going to be a limited value to using minoxidil alone. You may want to consult with the doctor and consider if you want to prolong the lifespan of the hairs that you have and maybe thicken your hairs, there are certain options that can be also implemented. Uh, when patients come to me and they've been using minoxidil for a long time, certainly I can see some benefit, but I think the benefit is limited when you compare it to the benefit of a drug like finasteride. So thinking about whether you want to consider taking a medication, and a lot of times people are not excited about taking medications, but I try to put that into perspective um, when it comes to managing their hair loss. Hair regeneration, something that we do as an injection, has also been an option for many patients uh, to help with 
prolonging the growth cycle, thickening, thinning hair, and reactivating hair that is um, not currently growing because of its um, reduced length of the active growth phase of the hair growth cycle and a prolonged phase of the resting phase. There are probably some degree of some overlap, in, although different pathways most likely from the pharmaceutical effects as well as the PRP, hair regeneration, acellular matrix effects. But I think that if you are simply just want to try minoxidil for now, I would say going to the foam makes the most sense. But I think it's also important to be informed of the options, albeit the limited number of options for managing hair loss before you would entertain possibly uh, the option of undergoing hair transplant. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question. Mm -hmm.